Hey guys, welcome back to some more Xenogears. So, okay, let's, I gotta start by addressing a couple things here. I haven't done my research yet. I intend to do some research online, like, things we can do before Dave's. I haven't done that yet though, so right now, this video is all from memory of hearing things from... <laughs> Just my past playthrough. So... Alright, let's go! We're in the Yggdrasil again! Finally! <laughs> the open world! So... Uh, let me see. From my memory, and my memory alone, I know that we can go to the lighthouse and do Emeralda's side quest. We can go to Dune Man Isle, and uh, there's a couple good items there, I think. And a little bit of story. Um, let me think. We have to go back to Satan's house and get an item to give to Midori. I'm pretty sure there's something at Tora's house. Um, what else? Just off the, I'm, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, right? So if you guys notice anything that I'm missing... Well, I guess you don't really have to comment stuff down below of what to do, because I'm going to go online and do research, but <laughs> if there's anything you guys want me to get in particular, I don't know, let me know. Maybe there's a couple items that I am that I don't know about that'll be helpful, but... Um... Damn. What, what is this up here? Is this like the, one of the Anima Relic dungeons, I think? Uh, oh god. Maybe I should have done some research before this episode, but <laughs> anyways. It don't really matter. Uh, let's just do something. I'm gonna go back to... Hey, there's the feet Jasper. <laughs> let's go back to Satan's house for a minute. Oh shit. There's stuff to do in Kislev too, I think. I think. Um... Where's Lahan? We gotta go to Lahan. There we go. Look at Xenogears! Ah, oh, it's so badass. Another thing that I remember is there's a certain enemy in the world map. I think it's in a forest somewhere where we can grind for speed shoes if we put the trader card on. Maybe I should get that on now, to be honest. Let me put it on... I'm gonna put it on Satan. Trader card. I don't know which enemies they are that give the speed shoes, but I'll find them. <laughs> oh boy. Remember these guys? I didn't even want to use a death blow on him. <laughs> so really? One experience and you got something? Okay. Let me see. Oh, it feels so weird. This was the beginning of the game. <laughs> I didn't miss the random battles. <laughs> There's no point in fighting these guys at all. What? Escape! Escape! So yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it feels so weird. Disc 2 has been so... story-based. And I'm so used to just reading. Now, now I actually get to play the game. I ain't got time for this. So, I really hope I can find this item that I have to give to Midori. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I just remember hearing that there's an item in uh, Satan's house area. No! I don't want to fight! I don't know how much I plan on doing off-screen. 
I'm probably gonna do the leveling and the money grinding off screen. I. Ah, this place. I remember. I remember there being a good grind spot outside of that Shavat snow area. There's like enemies that drop a. Uh... Well, for one, apparently they give decent experience. I have the Hercules ring, so that helps. Um. And they drop, like, golden vests or something. And you can, like, sell them for, like, a lot of fucking money. So that's probably gonna be my method of money grinding. Because I need to upgrade all of the gears. There's no way we're ever gonna beat Deus without upgrading my gears. Like, all of them. We gotta be, like, tip-top shape for that shit. Flower bed. There's a flower bed somewhere with uh, an item. I should have done my research before this episode. Oh no. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind watching me fumble around. Oh shit! There's something in here too. We have to we have to bring Emeralda in here and I think we can like Oh wait, maybe we don't have to bring Emeralda here. Maybe we can just Celebrating my daughter's birth. May all the dreams, courage, and love in the world be yours. Okay, we don't have to bring Emeralda here, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> Celebrating my daughter's birth. Oh, it's so cute. That's why Faye has had memories of this, right? Kim made it for Emeralda. Because Satan said it was a relic of the past. So that's a cool little reference. Like I said, guys, I'm going all off memory right now. This is all stuff that I remember from my first playthrough. <laughs> Whether I got it or not. Uh, God damn it. I'm so stupid. I should have done research. Where's this item we have to give to Midori? <laughs> There's a flower bed somewhere. I just don't know. Is this the flower bed? It has to be. It is! I knew it! Because that's the only flower bed there. Okay, we got Midori's ring. <laughs> that's one thing. Get the fuck away. Um... Hmm. Alright. Where am I going? I need to exit. Yeah, I've... Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I've made up my mind. I've definitely made up my mind. In the... By the time we're in the next episode, I'm gonna have a list. I'm gonna fucking write down... A list of all the things I need to do. That way I'm not fumbling around for the next couple episodes. Because I'm fumbling around right now. I don't really... I don't have a clear idea of what I should be doing other than <laughs> a couple side quests. So, Don't worry, guys. In the next episode, a lot, a lot more will be prepared. I'll be more prepared. But if my memory serves me correct... From when I was watching how to do this on my first playthrough, I think the forest to get the speed shoes is up here. I think. I know we gotta go back to Midori. Uh, let's do that first, actually. I think it's that forest right there, though, where we get speed shoes. Uh, let me check out something real quick, too. Um... I want to try and fight enemies around here for a minute. Uh... I don't think it's these guys. Damn! That's so much damage. A golden hood. Two of them. 
and we can like we can sell those for like really good cash so I think that's gonna be my method of getting cash uh let me see I want to encounter another enemy just to see what's going on I want to see if I can get more shit I know there's dragons we can fight too I just don't know where they are <laughs> like I said once I do my research we'll we'll have smoother gameplay you missed you missed Satan Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get good money. Good money here. Okay, let's head back to the snowfield hideout. Now, which room was Midori in? Not this room. It wasn't this room. It was the room with, like, all the snow. It wasn't this room. I I'm all over the damn place. Wait. Wait. Let me talk to you for a minute. Where's the shop? I want to sell those golden vests. You're the gear shop. I don't think... I can sell normal items here. Can I? I feel like selling the gold plate. I don't think we need that. Uh, God damn. Uh, where's the shopkeeper then? I remember there being a shopkeeper around here. Okay, this is who I wanted to talk to. King's Helm, Black Helmet. Golden Vest. We don't need Golden Vest. Golden Hood. Oh my god, look how much money I just got just from fighting a couple of those enemies. 10,000? I'm gonna get money so fast. I'm keeping all this stuff, though. Um, I have six gold nuggets and five gold bullions. Oh my goodness. Let me just sell, like, that many. I've been hoarding, as you can tell. <laughs> I've been hoarding all my items. Now... Back on track. We need to find Midori. I <laughs> I'm going in circles. Midori! Dan, where are you? Which room was it? That's the exit. What the fuck? Okay. This is where I wanted to go. Faye, I was scared a little, but not really scared, because I knew that inside of that monster you were doing all you could to fight it. Faye, I knew it. Midori, I had better give this back to you. It's your precious ring, right? Be a good little girl and listen to your mother, Yui. Listen to your mother, Yui. All right, Midori? Oh, and look after Dan. Look after Dan for me, okay? Yep, we're all fine. Faye, you be careful too. I'm sure your voice will be re reach out to her too, Faye. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Well, I'm going now, so see you later. Here, I got this from Choo Choo. 
Faye, you can have it. I'll trade you for my ring. I got another Hercules ring. Okay. So now we have two of them. That's actually awesome. Um, okay, so we got that done. That's one thing off the list that I don't yet have. <laughs> I want to go get Emeralda in the team. Uh, let's head back to the Yggdrasil. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind the slower paced gameplay all of a sudden. Holy fuck, what a change. We go from mass storytelling to just chilling out. <laughs> you know what though? I like it. I like just chilling out in these RPGs. So let's... Let's milk as much of this game as we possibly can. So... I want to go get Emeralda on the team so we could get started the... What's it called? The Lighthouse side quest? But I want to get Speed Shoes first before we go down there, because I remember the enemies in, uh... Oh, wait. Wrong room. I remember the enemies being very difficult in the Lighthouse area, so... Let's see. You're the only ones who can save us. We're counting on you. Young Master. You better not die, promise me. Of course, I'm not gonna die. Quit saying such weird stuff. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You'll make it back. When you come back, I'm going to, well, I just thought maybe I could be closer to you, you know? Hey, whoa, whoa, quit it! Do you know what you're saying? Ha, just kidding, young master, you're all panicked. <gasps> Ooh, she played him like a fiddle. Oh my god. Where's... Where is Choo Choo? Where the fuck did Choo Choo go? Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Just not in the room. Wow, I'm so pleased with everyone's levels. I'm gonna be honest, in my first playthrough, everyone in here was like level 55. And it was really, like, bad. <laughs> so, this is a lot nicer. Alright. Oh, man. I feel like... Ah, uh, no. I'm... I'll do this off-screen, actually. What I wanted to do... I want to unequip every character that I'm not using right now. That way I know all the items that I have. Because I think everyone has stuff equipped, and I don't know who has what equipped. So if I unequip everyone except for the main three characters that I'm using right now... I'll be able to keep better track of my items. So... I want to go to that area that has speed shoes now. That's the next thing I want to do. Actually... I'm gonna take Faye's Hercules ring off. Sure, just give him the King's Helm. I want to give it to Emeralda. Because Emeralda needs to be leveled up a little bit. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Because you see, Emeralda's 61, Satan's 65, and Faye's 68. Faye doesn't need to be like... <laughs> it's Emeralda that needs to get caught up, not Faye. So... Because this is my team I'm going to use for the final boss. I'll just let you guys know now. Faye, Satan, and Emeralda. They're going to fight Deus. And the rest of the characters are going to fight like the... The four things you fight before Deus. So I got to make sure that these three are like tip-top shape. Emeralda has elemental death blows to learn. I'll probably do that off screen even though we don't really need death blows. I still want to get them. I want to get some of them. I definitely want to get Faye's Kokai. I don't know if we're going to get Faye up to level 80. 
it depends how committed I am to leveling up. <laughs> if it doesn't take too long, then sure, I'll get him to level 80. I'm hoping with the Hercules ring it won't take too long. Because I do want to get all of Phase Death Blows, but getting him le up to level 80 is just... I don't know why, that sounds like such a long way away for me. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We will see. Deus integrated with Zohar and awoke. But we found out Deus is in the center of the giant structure created out of the fallen Merkava. The only way we can think to destroy Deus is to penetrate into there and make our way into the center. That structure is used to be used to be Merkava itself, but we must assume the inside has changed significantly. You have no idea, Sigurd. It's turned into a maze. <laughs> a maze of a dungeon. Yeah, thanks, Sigurd. Let me take care of it. I will destroy Deus, even if it costs me everything I have. Fay, are you sure about this? Bart? I know what you must be thinking now. If you destroy Deus, the pro pro proliferation of the nanomachines that are out to turn this planet itself into a weapon will stop. But if you end up losing Ellie, who was united with Deus for that very purpose, then what good will it be? But... That's right, Fay. She is our friend who's been through a lot with us, too. I think that saving a dear friend is just as important as protecting our planet or saving the world. What better reason is there to fight? If you can't even save your friends, then how could you save the world? Don't you agree? Yeah, Sig's right. Don't ever give up, Faye, no matter what. You're the only one who can release Ellie from Deus' spell, but we'll give you as much back if we can, so... Thanks a lot. Bart, Sigurd, I won't give up. You volunteered to fight for the young master and the rest of us. So it's our turn to fight for you and Ellie. Let's go, Faye, to gain true freedom. Shall we launch the Aegis, though? That's cool. We got to talk to them a little bit. All right. <laughs> Let's go get some speed shoes, shall we? I'm excited. This is... <laughs> This Let's Play is going really well. I'm very pleased with how this file is turning out. I think this is the forest where we get speed shoes. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, and I'll go look it up later, but... I may as well test it out, right? I want to get out of the gears. Uh... Trader card... Hercules ring. Alright. Okay, it's not these guys. I remember what they look like. They look really weird. They look like slugs. So if we don't find anything that looks like a slug, then I'm dipping out. I missed the open world so much. Oh my goodness, it's so nice being out here again. It's not you guys, I don't... Or maybe it is them. No, it's not. I know it's not. There's a certain enemy, but it might not be this forest. <laughs> you guys, if you know where the speed shoes are, you're probably watching this like... What the fuck are you doing? Go to a different forest. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's this one. I'm gonna have shit planned out in the next episode, don't worry. <laughs> I'm winging it. This whole episode has been me just winging it. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good so far though, I gotta fucking admit. My memory is serving me well. <laughs> I don't know. Let me try fighting these guys. No, no, no. I'm not fighting them. No. I can't make up my mind, as you can tell. Guys, I don't think this is the forest where speed shoes are. I think I fucked up.
It's... Is it these guys? No, it's not these guys. They look like slugs or something. No. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me try like one or two more battles and then I'll, I'll head out if I don't find them. Look at little Emeralda. You can't even see her in the trees. No. It must be a different forest. Oh wow, look at the animation it made when the gears went away. It has to be that forest. Oh my god, there it is. Look at this. The final fucking dungeon. It's staring us right in the face. Lovely. Am I going crazy? I must be going crazy. It has to be this fucking forest. There's nowhere else that actually makes sense that it would be in. Look at this. The episode's almost 30 minutes long and I've literally just been... Just ja <laughs> I've just been fucking jerking off this whole episode, it feels like. There it is! I found it, guys. This is the enemy that drops speed shoes. Guaranteed. So I was right about the forest. Okay. Yeah! I don't know how many speed shoes I could I should get. Maybe I'll just get one for every party member. That wouldn't actually that wouldn't be necessary. If I get three, that would be more than enough, because I could just during the final boss they let you switch your characters around and like unequip items. So if I just get three, I could just switch the three speed rings around for the party members that I need them for. So maybe I'll get three or four. Look at the Executor Crown. That's so much defense. Satan still has the speed ring. That's funny. Alright, well... I guess in the next episode of Xenogears, guys, I'm gonna do some more research on stuff to do. We're probably gonna do the, the Lighthouse in the next episode. I just want to get one or two more speed rings, so I'm going to do that off screen. I figure you guys don't need to sit here and watch me fucking sift through enemies just to get like two more speed rings. So in the next episode, guys, I will have a couple more speed rings. Not speed rings, sorry. I'll have a couple more speed shoes, and then we're going to go to the lighthouse. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.